Hi, welcome to my channel. My name's Taryn. Uh, this is Ambrosia Design. Uh, if you're new here, please feel free to um, subscribe or uh, leave a comment. Um, I do furniture design. Um, I am a uh, furniture artist and I do uh, take old, old and tired furniture and turn it into something a little bit sort of um, more colourful and, and livable for now and more creative. Uh, I am participating in a YouTube challenge. So this is called the Great Aussie Challenge, um, where the participants of the challenge are trying to predominantly use um, Australian uh, materials. It's not exclusive though, so anything uh, is fine. It's just um, we thought it would, would be a bit of a laugh to do an Aussie challenge. Um, so what what I'm going to do, I am not... I'm not actually going to do a big piece of furniture. I just wanted to um, have a bit of a play with um, with some paints from Carts and Millie that I haven't used yet. So, um, or haven't used completely, um, or or played with like the color um, of the paints. So, uh, what I am going to do is this is just a little Kmart Kmart. Um, I guess it's like a desk, um, little desk set of drawers. Things. So I'm going to, it's tiny, it's absolutely tiny, but um, I'm going to change it into something. And my cat's just uh, caught a um, toy mouse, not, not, not a real mouse. Um, and uh, so I'm gonna change this into something um, completely different. Now at the moment, I am looking at using the suffuse paint and that's in uh, daydream which is just an absolutely beautiful color um, i've got the suffuse in little lamb which is just a, a nice sort of crisp white and i've got the mineral boutique now the color is not imi shimmy it's a different color so that's don't trust that but anyway <laughs> it's a beautiful vibrant yellow but I'm going to use this to try and um, have a really pale almost like a pale green so I'm going to sort of play with the color a bit um, I don't I don't have it in the container but I'm I am not going to throw away a single drop so this is um, the suffused paint in suede um, so that's like a well I guess you can see the color there it's kind of split a little bit this is why you shake paint um, before you use it because it does tend to separate and that's absolutely normal so you can see the beautiful pigment there of that that blue and that um, when that that paint goes on it, um, oh, it just dries beautifully but it's almost like a, a very matte um, suede blue so, so the, the naming is uh, absolutely perfect um, so with this little little piece, um, I don't real I don't need to do any prep work because the the wood's really porous and it's clean. Um, I, I might scuff up the front of this because this is painted, so I'll give it a bit of a scuff. This this I'm going to lose, so I actually want to make it a bit of a, a decorative little little piece, and um, I'm going to change the handle. I might even put some handles here, even though there's a little. Um, what's that like a finger pull sort of um, <laughs> that sounds like a dad's joke um so uh anyway we'll see we'll see what uh, what that is transformed into now um i will also be using um some resin molds i really enjoy um putting resin molds so i don't know if i want to use these really really tiny so you can see from the the size of um my finger that they're not they're really not that big at all so they're like little um snowflakes uh which are really really beautiful and they when they come out they're really detailed um i also have this little grouping of flowers so once again really really tiny but it's a tiny piece so i think it'll it'll work well or i have this mold by um redesign uh, so I never get the name of this company right, and I'm so sorry, Redesign with Prima. Um, so they have this particular bird 
um, here is just glorious. It's so beautiful and such a happy, happy little mold. So I might use a few of the flowers um, and some birds and uh, we'll see, we'll see how we go with that. Um, just thinking if there's anything else. Um, of course, I'm going to be using my sleek brush. So this is quite a small one. Um, I don't know if I'll be using one of their um, little sample pot brushes, but um, they're fabulous as well to do some detail work. So sleek brush. Um, and I think, I think I'm just about ready to go. So I'm going to change the position of the camera so it's facing the, the piece and um, we'll, we'll see how we go. So I'll just um, check in with a bit of an update. Um, I've painted, so as you can see, I've painted the, oh, there's a bit of uh, overrun there. I've painted the little drawers, the tiny drawers. Um, so I've done every side except the bottom and the back, which obviously you don't really need to, to paint. Um, and I've done that for each, so each of the drawers. And I've used this teal, so I mixed the colors and I've got a bit of a teal, um, almost like a duck egg sort of a color. Um, now I'll probably go over the top of it. I may just go over the top with the pure um, uh, daydream color and have this this sort of muted tone as a as a base color. I don't know yet, so I'll see see how I feel. I, I reserve the right to change my mind. Uh, what I have done is the, that pure suede um, color. I've just gone in. Uh, in the drawers so the bottom I've left the duck egg but in these drawers which you usually won't see but you know on the off chance that you take a drawer out you'll see that this is actually decorated as well um, so I've got that as the, the suede which is that darker blue um, still obviously it's still you know really wet because I've just painted it so I'm just gonna let it sit for maybe about an hour or so uh, maybe overnight I don't know um, and I've just clamped the, the side of it so the back of it was uh, a little, a little worse for wear. It was sort of coming out, and um, it's that's because it's a you know it's Kmart product. Let's not beat around the bush and pretend that it's a quality item. Um, so I've, I'm actually I've just um, used a bit of the Gorilla Grip um, to glue that in place, so that will stay stay in place. And what I might do as well, there's a bit of a like it's almost maybe it's been dropped or something at some point, um, and there's a bit of a chip sort of coming out the side here so uh, I'll get a longer clamp and I'll clamp these sides down um, after this back has dried um, but I think that's kind of it for now um, I may I may have a look at um, decorating decorating the front of the drawers what I'm going to do with that I, I don't know that I want to stay with this muted color I think I want it to be a little a little tiny bit brighter so we'll see how we go anyway well hello up there so I am still working on the um, the little um, desk um, charge key and uh, I have decided to so I'm just sealing or just firming up that um, that corner so you can see that there's a bit of a gap there um, this is fine uh, there's no issue with the front of it um, actually there might be a bit of an issue yeah okay so I'm going to I'm gonna get another clamp on that and, uh, and glue that down um, I might do that in an hour or so um, but in the meantime, I'm going to repaint the drawers. Now, I was thinking, so we have this little um, little semicircle cut out so you can sort of pull the, the drawers out, but I'm going to put um, 
So I've decided I'm going to put handles on it so it sort of looks a little bit fancier. So I was going to do something like that. Then I was thinking, hang on a second. I'll just turn it around. There you go. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to face that towards the back the back of the piece so when you open the drawer yes you'll have this semicircle but um that, that's just um for um that's with resistance but anyway so i decided i'm going to turn it around paint it and have that little handle so i have one of those little glass handles on the the outside of the drawer maybe a little bird or flower or something attached to it so we'll see how that goes but anyway I'll check in so I've got the clamp working and I'm going to do another coat inside of course because it's still the coverage is actually fantastic but I just want to do another coat just just to um, sort of go through the exercise and then I'll I'll, um, I'll put the the resin pieces on and from there I'll put a top coat on so I'll use the I've got a Carts and Millie um, I think it's like a satin top coat I don't have it in this room so I've uh, I've got my uh, happy happy little air conditioner working at the moment so um, well I, I'm just not gonna leave this room it's too hot so <laughs> I'll check back in later